I'm supposed to be very famous. What the hell is going on? We're gonna fucking die! We're not gonna die. I got this. My name is Yolanda Parker and I am a neighborhood chef. So I do a rough chop of the, the bell pepper here. Mm -hmm. And we got all four colors, orange, yellow, and green, and the red. Put my clothes in. Okay. Now with the time we just peel it. Yeah, get the leaves off. Yeah, yeah sometimes I, uh, like when you, when I make rice and stuff, I can put the whole leaf in the rice. Oh, okay. Hmm. You also have some scallions that we need to chop up. Rough chop, basically. Everything is a rough chop, just to add a flavor to the dish. Colors are very sweet. People don't realize that if the food looks good, it helps with the taste. It's exactly. all exactly. part of the thing. Exactly. Because I don't, I don't want to eat something that looks good. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> it's a family. You know, and if it looks boring, then you know. Exactly. Are you waiting for browning? Or for um, just a little bit of saute. doesn't need much of it. I still have a few things that I can put in there. Which is the garlic. Mm, garlic is delicious. That's my, like one of my favorite. If I don't have it, I don't like using it. It's good for you too. Yeah, it is. Very delicious. The only thing is like a rough shot. I just like this, the, the different, um, how everything takes place with each other. Mm -hmm. Like spices, a lot of spices, a lot of season, different seasonings. I like to, to play around with the color of of the food. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do too is add some water. Some type of curry to it, and seafood is just like my ultimate favorite. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, love curry. I have um, some lobsters here, and I'm gonna bring over and I'm gonna kind of split them apart. Mm -hmm. Now I'm a bit squeamish on. <laughs> a live lobster. These were live before I chopped them up, but I am a bit squeamish, um, however, on cutting them alive mm -hmm. because they do still move. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, a good friend of mine told me that if I put them in the freezer, uh, yeah, 
stuff. I put them in the freezer first. Then, you know, um, what what they do is kind of numb them. Yeah. And, and do your thing. Cut them up. Comfortably. Yes. Move around. <laughs> More green type deal here. So I'm just piecing the lobster together. And while I'm putting that in, I'll show you how I put together the ravioli. These are some big uh, pieces. Really good. <laughs> so I'm only going to season the water again. And these were some um, pretty nice size lobster. <laughs> okay. About two, two and a half pounds. I mean, you can chop them up two and quarters uh -huh. as well. Um, and then, you know, depending, a lot of people are squeamish. And let me tell you, lobsters do not scream when you put them in the pot. <laughs> I'm telling you, every I, that just kills me when people say that. That's a little bit of a turn. That is like that. hilarious <laughs> when I hear it. <laughs> They don't scream. <laughs> they don't scream at all. So I'm putting more salt in here. I'm just going to add that. Mm -hmm. A little bit of actual curry. I know I'm going to like this. Mm -hmm. I love curry. I don't know. It's the flavors. It's just something about it. Exotic and takes you someplace that, you know, and combine, yeah, and combine with the seafood and the color that you want and the flavors is just awesome. I'm going to kind of turn this up. I, usually you can put, um, you know, a top on mm -hmm. here and let the flavors, you know, marry together. I just want to kind of taste it to make sure. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. They, um, you know, just make sure that if you don't over season the vegetables alone. Would do the, you know, all the seasoning too. So I'm gonna cut up some cilantro. Okay. Um, I need to get my rice to start too. Jasmine rice. Mm -hmm. What I did with the jasmine rice is I. Uh, I um, usually brown my rice a little bit before I put the water in, kind of almost like frying it first. Okay. Normally I don't stir it. Usually I have a top and then really low and let it cook the rest of the way. And why'd you pick jasmine rice? Jasmine rice has a um, this scent or this flavor to it that goes really well with seafood, really, really well with seafood. Um, and that's why I chose the jasmine rice for that. And so what I have in here is some crab meat, mm -hmm. um, lump crab meat, you can get it in a can at the supermarket. Um, I have a little bit of ricotta just so the consistency can smooth out. Mm -hmm. um, chopped red pepper scallions and my little cheat sheet this is the um, wonton wrapper that we use you can get that at any of the asian markets in ohio they don't have too many of them so it's kind of hard to find you have to you can go to a local supermarket and find their brand which is about <laughs> four dollars a pack <laughs> compared to the Asian market at two dollars a pack mm -hmm. so less than that so what you're going to do is you brush egg over the wonton mm -hmm. and kind of smooth it out I totally forgot my brush so I'm improvising here with the a lot of times what we have to do mm -hmm. And just um, kind of swipe them around. I'm going to do a few of them. Have some already made up. I'm just going to show you how to um, to make the raviolis. You can cut them. You can 
um, you know, cut them into shapes before you do it. Like after you put them together, you can cut them into like a circle mm -hmm. or anything like that. And then they do have the wonton wraps where they do, they are in circles where you can, you know, fill them up and put them in some uh, boiling water mm -hmm. for about six or seven minutes and you're done. And what is it act for? Is it like a sealing agent? It's like a sealing agent. Um, water can do, but this is uh, better to seal them with. Mm -hmm. And then you just take about a teaspoon, two teaspoons, in the, depending on how big you want it, and just put them in the center of the ravioli. And this is more crab, crab. Uh, consistency so um, like I said this is my thoughts and I'm thinking this is going to taste really good with the crab inside and the, I think so too. <laughs> the broth that's all over it yeah mm -hmm. so it's not your typical Italian slash Caribbean slash <laughs> Asian <laughs> dish <laughs> exactly something in here for everybody mm -hmm. looks really so where did you did you find this someplace to how to make the ravioli? Or did um, you just come up with it? No, like on like like I said, when you buy the ravi, um, I made them before, but um, they were I did like a another lobster dish, but I used the lobster meat and um, on the package of the ones that I was telling you about in Ohio. Mm -hmm. You just seal these around, all the way around the four corners, and make sure that stuffing is sealed in there tightly. Um, the package, on the back of the package, they have, you know, how to oh. roll the ravioli. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. That makes sense. <laughs> so while I have my water boiling, I'm just going to dump the um, ravioli mm -hmm. in. Too that's made up, but I can. What did you want? The raviolis that I made up for that. Mm -hmm. So these were already done. I'm going to place them in the water. Boil okay. well, about six or seven minutes. Now I can turn the heat up since they're in there. The water's salted. Usually with a bigger um, pot, you can do, you know, two, six or seven. But since that is a little smaller, I'm just going to use a little bit of water as well. Now I'm going to check my um, monster dish. See how that's working out? It's mm -hmm. not right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Basically, the consistency that I wanted. This is basically done. That was really good. The rice is done, basically. Alright, I'm going to plate this up for you guys. So what I do is I put my rice in a little cup just to make it a little fancy. This is um, almost. This is the bok choy with the peppers and the garlic. Mm -hmm. Let's lay that down there. Again, I'm a big thing on big big thing on presentation and color. Mm -hmm. I love color. It's almost like it affects the taste of the food. So, I still need help lifting it up. And I just don't, they're really delicate, so I just want to make sure that I keep them whole. Mm -hmm. I kind of place them. Mm Thanks 
beautiful. Thank you. I'm gonna just do the broth all over. Food. You have your vegetable, a little bit of everything over here. Man, <laughs> mm, that looks good. Thank you. And you usually just take whatever I use to, you know, season it with, kind of top it off. Okay, so I'm going to take a little piece from here. Just get a little bit of everything in one fork. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to start with the vegetables and the red peppers first. Okay, I'm going to wilt it. Um, bok choy again. That's very good. Mm. It's very, very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't. It's really good. Everything on the plate complements the lobster really well. This is delicious. I've never had crab crab ravioli before mm -hmm. ever, and it's very very good. Thank the rice you. is delicious. The vegetables, lobster, everything. Thank you. Really good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I'm Joyce John. And welcome to Neighborhood Chefs. That's right, it's season two. So excited. We have new chefs this season. We have returning chefs. New recipes, new ways of cooking. New cuisines, vegan, gourmet, organic, comfort food, Indian. Seafood, and we've even got mini chefs. We've got the little ones in the kitchen. So adorable, I can't wait for that part. So make sure you join us exclusively at ibchannel.tv on October the 6th. Good stuff. Once again, I'm Doyce John. And I'm Jody Polovich. And we, we hope, hope to, to see, see you in the, in the kitchen. kitchen. <laughs>